Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops at you again. Today we're going to show you with the new Texa Truck version 41 how well it works with the Dodge with the Cummins. In this example we actually have a really new Dodge. Uh, this is a 2016 with about 80,000 miles on it and we want to show you what you can do with it. So let's do the total system scan first because if you're used to trucks you're probably used to only seeing a couple different ECUs on the vehicle. Uh, maybe you have an engine, transmission, ABS, cab controller, and after that it's kind of limited unless you're working on a Mac or Volvo. So I'm just going to kind of click through some warning screens here and let this thing go. So what's different about the Ford, Chevy, and Dodge stuff is just the sheer number of different things that are available to connect to it on it. And you're going to see here on this Texa tool, we have not only fully bi-directional commands on the Dodge side of it, but we can do that with the other subsystems as well. So we'll only hook into a couple here just to give you a glimpse. We don't want to make this a 30 minute video just going over every little minutia detail on a Cummins in a Dodge. And the other thing to remember too, Cummins in a Dodge will not work with Cummins Insight. So Cummins Insight will work with every single tool that's on the market, every single Cummins engine on the market, except when it's in a Dodge because Dodge does electronics. So right now you can see in our global scan we did, the green check mark means the ECU was recognized and there was no errors. The red means the ECU was not found. That doesn't mean the text is not working, it just means this truck doesn't have an air conditioning module. And the ones with the yellow, that simply means that it found it, but there's some codes. So if I wanted to get a quick glimpse of all the codes, I could click on DTC's detected over here. And now you'll see I'll see them in red and I'll see them in yellow. So red are active codes, yellow are inactive codes. And I can go through my complete vehicle and get a good idea of what's going along with the code numbers. All right, so let's go back one more menu just so we can all see everything nice and easy. So let's go right away to the diesel injection, Cummins in a Dodge, brand new with version 41. We can now do 2013 and newer. Uh, the previous version 40 is when they first added the Dodge with a Cummins coverage. But now, and they only added up to like 2012-ish. So now we have all years, all makes. And if you hear some background noise, it's because I'm actually standing out here right now at a local dealership's lot. So that quickly, we are in it. Let's see how good this is. So let's load up that parameters page and see how many different parameters we can see. 251. And if we give it a second here, and we'll scroll down. Just give it a second here, and we should be seeing a bunch of parameters popping up on the screen. All right, sorry about that, folks. A little technical glitch there, but we are back hooked up here. Everything is now showing all of our live data on this vehicle, so you can definitely see all the values. The red is going to show your high value while you've been connected to the engine. The green is going to show you the low value while you've been connected to the engine. So there's all your commands, all your values, I should say, in the parameters tab. If I go over to the faults information, this is where you'll find all your inactive and active faults. So we will double click that one. We'll actually get our fault code information, P2509. And if we go over to ECU info, this is where you'll find information about the ECM, such as software levels, VIN numbers, um, any kind of variance, whatever it may be. Now all the good stuff is over here in activations and settings. So as you can see on this, we have a lot of different commands we can run. Some of the common ones people want to run, cylinder cutout tasks. Um, any of these commands, like I have no idea what an MS solenoid is. So you see there's a little question mark over here. We can click on the question mark and it'll tell you a little bit about the command and what kind of conditions need to be met in order for it to work. Over on the settings tab, we have our DPF regen command. So there's the commands we can do in a 2016 Cummins in a Dodge. Let's go back. And what we're going to do is go into one of these other modules as well. So the nice thing about Texa, no matter what we're connected to, Chevy, Dodge, Ford, Allison, ABS, they're all the same. Let's go check out the ABS system on this vehicle and see what we can do there. So very simple, just a couple clicks, let her go, and we're doing all this Bluetooth. So we're, uh, we're a little ways from the truck right now. So we'll hit the confirm button, and we are in there right away. So on the parameter tab, now we have 25 different parameters we can watch. So I'll scroll through the list here to show you everything on here. So it's reading everything coming out of the uh, ABS system. I go over to the faults. There are no fault codes in this vehicle. EC info tab, again, software versions. Activations are where you can run your commands. And we'll scroll through the list here. All right, valve commands. Looks like we can do some lamp commands. 
Over on settings is where we can do some of our bleed commands, initialize the ABS system, and brake pedal calibration. So again, we have a question mark on some of these, gives you a little more information, and it'll tell you about this system and what you need to do. All right. So that is the real quick and dirty on the Cummins in a Dodge with the brand new version 41, a truck. And I really hope you enjoy watching the video. Thank you.